Hi guys, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. Hey, let's make some chocolate crepes for dessert today. You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna make a, uh, like a stack with strawberries. That'll be a different video. I just wanna show you how to make these. You can do that, or you can um, fill these with, uh, let's say, whipped cream and strawberries, or, or raspberries, or, or Nutella. You know, it's hazelnut based. Ooh, these are good, let's make them. For our dry ingredients, we have one and a half cups of flour, half a cup of um, unsweetened cocoa powder, and half a cup of sugar. So all I'm going to do is, oh, I also have a pinch of salt in here. I'm just going to mix this, and we'll set that aside. For our wet ingredients, I have two cups of milk in here, two large eggs. I have two tablespoons of melted butter, which obviously cooled down and about half a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm just going to whisk that well, mix it all in. Now I'm going to start adding these wet ingredients to my flour. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time so that I can work out all the lumps and, you know, and have a smooth batter. So I'm going to see you guys when that is done. Okay guys, this is done. I have some little lumps of chocolate in there, the, you know, the cocoa. I should have sifted it actually, and I didn't. Um, I didn't think I was, I was going to have to. So if you have lumps in your, co uh, in your cocoa, make sure you sift it before you put it in uh, with the flour, okay? <laughs> uh, learn from my mistakes. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then we'll make our crepes. Okay, oh, notice that this is really liquid. That's fine, that's how it's supposed to be. You don't want it thick, because we're not making pancakes. So this is great. I'm gonna see you guys in about an hour. The size of your crepe is gonna depend on the size of your pan. Now, when you're cooking uh, these, don't worry if the first one is just an absolute total fail. That's the hardest one to get. You want these thin, so you're not going to be putting a lot of batter into your pan. I just put a little bit of unsalted butter in here, in the pan. And now I'm just going to ladle some in there. And I'm going to spread it out. Work on medium heat. You don't need it to be super, super hot. Very pretty. So far, so good. <laughs> You're gonna wanna put these on a plate with a um, damp cloth on top. You don't want them to dry. Okay, so this is kind of done. I'm gonna flip it. and cook it on the other side for a couple minutes. So I'm going to do that with all of them and I'll come back to you. I'm placing my crepes underneath a dish rag as I told you. Uh, I just squeezed out as much of the water as I could. It's damp. I want to keep those nice and, uh, and moist. I don't want them to dry. Here my friends are our chocolate crepes. I got about 16 out of this recipe. You know crepes are great because you can make them ahead of time. Uh, I have another two rec uh, recipes for different kinds of crepes on the website if you want to check them out. This recipe will be on the website waiting for you to come and print it. You well, my friends, without going broke. I'm going to see you guys soon.